Okay, in uh, this video, I'm going to go over um, export settings. So when you're exporting to YouTube to get the best quality picture. Um, so to do that, what I'm using right here is Adobe uh, 5.5, Adobe Premiere 5.5. Um, I'm going to upgrade to uh, Adobe CC soon, but right now I'm still using 5.5. So when you import the video, now if you're not using Adobe 5.5, of course, it may be a little bit different. When you're importing a video, especially on an older um, software, um, you could cl click on the video and do new, new sequence from clip. Now, when you do new sequence from clip, you'll see it will match the video um, settings. So you see how it says 2720 by 1536. Now, that's the 2.7K that I, I found is the, the perfect combination of clarity and, and size and it just looks good. So um, if you see that, it says 2720 by 1536. Now, if you go to the sequence, it says 2720 by 1536 and 29.97 frames per second. All right, so here's the video. Um, and of course, you know, I edited it to music. Here you can watch it play. Now, what I like to do is I like to edit the music to the uh, beat. So. So there's the drum. So you just, just, you know, you can use something as a marker, like a drum. So this is right when you see that drum, that beat, right there. So just look for something as a clue, like a visual, audible clue for you. Um, and I usually just pick something out. So that, that little drum beat, that little drum beat right there. So you can do something like that. So just edit your video like you normally would. And then if you're selected on the video like so, you go to File and Export and Media. Okay, and here you can see um, the source is the 2720 by 1536, 29.97 frames per second, 48. Uh, 100,000 hertz stereo, and you see the output here is 2720 by 1536. Now let me let me see if I can make this bigger, so I don't have to pan around as much. Okay, so you have export audio, export video selected. The format is H.264. Now, if you go to the YouTube settings, and I can put a link in there. You see they they want you to use the H.264 codec, uh, progressive scan. No interlacing, high profile, two consecutive consecutive B frames, closed uh, GOP of half the frame rate, uh, variable bit rate, um, no bit rate bit rate limit required. Um, though, but they offer uh, recommended bit rates below, which I'll go over. So um, now, if you look at here, the recommended size they have to fit the player perfectly for encoding for for 2.7K which is the 1440 here, is 2560 by 1440. So if you go here, you can change that to 2560. And then change this one to 1440. Now if you have it locked, it will it will automatically change it. So it uh, it uh, aspect ratio is matches, but I I'm go, I would like to use what they recommend, which is 2560 by 1440, because I like to limit what YouTube processes as much as possible. Um, I want to limit their processing. Now, if you look at the original, it's 2720 by 1536. So I'm making it a little bit smaller, um, and so it should look even better at <laughs> small when it's smaller. And um, if you look at the frame rate, I have it at 29.97. Now, YouTube says to use the frame rate that you originally did when you uh, recorded the video. Content should be encoded and uploaded at the same frame rate it was recorded. I'm not sure why you couldn't change your frame rate, but that's what they say anyway. But I, I just keep it at 29.97. Uh, field order is uh, progressive and it's grayed out. And that's the default is progressive. Uh, widescreen 16 by 16 by 9 and that is what YouTube uses also is 16 by 9 of course um, 
as you can see here, the upload file isn't 69 by 9. It'll be processed to display pillar boxes. So you don't want pillar boxes. That looks horrible. Um, the profile is high, just like they recommend. Now, this is what got me at first. If you have it set to 4.1 instead of 5.1, you won't, at least in 5.5, you won't be able to change the frame width and height. It won't let you go over 1920 by 1080. So um, if that screws you up, then that's, that's what uh, that got me. Render at maximum depth. Uh, I always have that to improve render quality. I always have it uh, rendered at maximum depth. Um, VBR uh, two pass is what I always select. Now see the bit rate, I have it set to 50 and 60. You don't have to go too far over, but I, I always go over what YouTube recommends. Um, as you can see for HDR uploads, the bit rate for 2K is 20 um, megabits per second uh, for standard frame rate and uh, high frame rate is 30 megabits per second. So I would do 30 and 40 instead of 20 and 30 or more um you don't have to go much more over that and then the for the stereo it's 38 384 Let's see what we have here you click on audio um you can see aac and you can see the audio settings go up here audio settings aac uh dash lc uh, stereo or stereo on 5.1 uh 96 or 48 um, so I have it at uh, 48, audio quality high, bit rates at 320. Uh, they recommended the bit rate, uh, for the audio, it doesn't, doesn't say. Uh, so bit rate and frequency. Um, I always use frame blending too. I find that frame blending, uh, really helps make the video look better. Um, um, Use maximum render quality is another thing I use, and use previews. Estimated file size you see here. Now, if you change the slider over, um, the estimated file size will go down, as you can see. So if you wanted to make the file smaller, you know, you don't have to go crazy over. You can just do what they uh, recommend um, here. And what they recommend is uh, 20 and 30, so. I would just, you can do just do 30 and 40. So just go here and 30 for the target and then 40 for maximum. Um, and then you can see I went down to 683. So there you have it. These are the settings uh, using 264 and TSC, 256 about 1440, 29.97 frames per second, widescreen 16.9, high profile, level 5.1, render at maximum depth is checked, VBR 2 pass, bit rate uh, targets at 30, maximums at 40, uh, advanced settings, um, I don't have set keyframe distance, uh, use previews, uh, use maximum render quality, use frame blending, and then you click export, and that should look as good as it can. So that's my recommendation for the 2.7K uh, for the Mavic, and um, I just recorded 2.7K on the Mavic at 29.97 um, frames per second. So that is the tutorial on export. Please leave a comment down below if you have any questions uh, or comments or recommendations, uh, your software, um, it could be different, but I'll leave a link. I'll leave a link to this. These are the settings that YouTube recommends. And uh, just try to render and output as high quality as you can. Um, and if you uh, record in 4K, you can bring it down to 2.7K or you can bring it down to 1080. And of course, it will still look better. A 1080 recorded at 4K is still going to look better than uh, something recorded natively in 1080. And of course, you can you can crop down so you can you can make it smaller, zoom in on something, and you won't uh, lose the quality um, to a certain degree. So that's why it's you know never hurts to record in a higher quality. Um, just some computers that can't handle it, and my computer is getting pretty old, and I'm having a hard time. So um, it's scrubbing. The problem is scrubbing. Here, let me show you. 
Sometimes if you're you know moving the slider across, let me turn the volume down. If you're moving the slider across, and that's called scrubbing. That's when you can run into problems. Yeah. You see the audio is, is it's you just can't scrub good, so that's why it helps to have a high powerful computer. So I'm gonna upgrade my computer soon. So that's it uh, for today's tutorial. Don't forget to uh, like the video um, and uh, subscribe so you can get notified on further videos. And um, that's it. Until next time. Was I recording? Oh man, I'm still recording.